Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm the Director of Product Development for the Jayco Motorhome Group. And today we have something absolutely brand new to show to you. It is the new 2024 Jayco Granite Ridge. This is a complete new model for us and we are excited to show you. This is on the Transit 3500 HD. It is an all wheel drive chassis. So with that, uh, you're gonna be able to go most places that your two wheel drive will not be able to go. So well, I wanna tell you some of the things that we've done to this unit that makes it special, that makes it kind of a unique to Jayco. We put a ride and handling package on it from the get go. We want this to handle better than anything else in this price point in this class. And so immediately we have put uh, Helwig helper springs on the rear of this unit. Helps with stability, also helps with, as you add more weight to the rear of the coach, helps it from getting squatty. Also, we've replaced the Ford standard stabilizer bar on the rear with a heavy duty oversized stabilizer bar to really help with that left or right rocking as you're going down the road or potentially a, a dirt two track. Also on this unit, uh, we, from the factory, we've installed a two inch, uh, Van Compass 2.0 lift on this. So you're gonna get more ground clearance with this than you will some of the competitors who are building on this chassis. So that was important to us, it's all wheel drive. We wanted to have the ground clearance, so we did that Van Compass uh, 2.0 lift on that. Also on this, we have, um, we have all-terrain tires. It's all wheel drive, it should have all-terrain. So we added that, and then also we replaced the Ford stock uh, wheels with these matte black aluminum wheels. So super excited about what this has to offer you. So I wanna go off, uh, talk a little bit about uh, this unit from the exterior, but also the interior as well. You know, our front caps that we put on our Class Cs is really our claim to fame. Um, we started a number of years ago with one piece fiberglass front cap to eliminate leaks. This is obviously that as well, but something you cannot see inside of this cap, we've done special for this unit. Um, we want to help mitigate the heat as much as possible. Heat transfer from the exterior of the coach to the interior of the coach. So in this front cap, we've not only done our standard uh, fiberglass bat insulation, but we also added a, a brand of insulation called Hush Mat. It's actually adhered to the interior of the cap on every surface, every side, to eliminate noise from the outside, but then as I also said, heat from the outside. So that's an extra step that we do on this cap, and I feel like it does make a difference as far as your decibel readings inside the coach, and then also your temperatures inside the coach as well. So you're not gonna be able to see that, but I wanted to point that out to you. The construction on this unit, this has two inch thick sidewalls. Uh, so it is gonna be thicker than a standard class C, which is an inch and a half. We did that uh, also to help with heat transfer, keep your, your cool on the inside if you're in the Southwest or your heat on the inside if you're up North, and then also to help with sound as well. So uh, two inch thick sidewalls, that's gonna be something that's very special that we knew that you as a customer would want. Uh, this unit does have uh, outdoor kitchen that's optioned. It's going to be located inside of this storage compartment. Uh, that is an option on this coach. Standard, if you do not get the outdoor kitchen, you will just have a storage uh, bay in that area. Also, you are going to get the uh, acrylic windows. Those are dual paned acrylic windows, and you'll see on the inside uh, that the, the blinds are integrated into uh, the cassette around it, so it's nice there's no roller shades involved there. Uh, coming back further on the coach, we do give you a 20 pound LP bottle out here. That LP is going to only be for your cook station if you do option your outdoor kitchen, or we have an LP quick connect. If you don't option that uh, cooking kitchen, you can attach a gas grill to this. So this is the only thing this tank is for. So um, if you don't grill much, if you don't use LP outside often, um, you can do away with that all together on your own if you'd like. Now we won't do that at the factory, that'll come standard with every unit, but at the same time, wanted to throw that out to you. Conveniently located right beside your outdoor kitchen, if you option it, we do have 120 volt outlet there. That way you're gonna be able to hook up a coffee pot, hook up anything you want for your morning or your afternoon meals. Uh, so that's gonna be located there. As we come back further in the coach, something that's really cool is the amount of storage we have in this unit. We do have motion sensing lights inside, uh, it's fully accessible from the side of the coach, also from the rear of the coach as well. And that way you're going to be able to store anything in it you like. Now this is a prototype, so I will tell you on future models, um, you will probably not be receiving this 
fast track system. It seems like we're going to go a different route. We'll have pictures uploaded on our website. What that's going to be, there'll also be some form of storage on the doors as well. So wanted to point that out. Nice that you do have an overhead net in this unit, be able to store things up and out of the way. And that way um, you're going to be able to maximize really the volume of this. You're not just limited to the floor, but you can put stuff overhead as well. We do have a 14 foot awning on this side of the coach. That is standard. We do have an option for an awning delete if you don't prefer to have this. Now this does have a motion sensor in it. That way, if the wind starts to pick up, it will auto retract. At the same time, we always encourage you if you're going away, for the day you're going out hiking going out kayaking it's just wise to put that back in so i want to point that out to you uh, we have i think the the graphics on this are absolutely incredible i think our team did a great job with it we do have an option for a graphics delete at that you lose all of the design aspect but we do keep our branding on here so on the side of the coach you just simply say granite ridge as we come around to the rear of the coach you will notice that uh, we do have a nice led uh, uh, accessory light here that way as your your rear uh, door is open if you be, need to be able to see down here you're going to be able to use your lighting for that on this coach we did option a rear um, awning so that is a power awning it is an option uh, there's very few uh, I was going to say very few options but in reality on this unit we probably have more options than we do on other units but we still limit it so an option I have is a graphics delete an option I have is an awning delete an option I have is I can add this rear awning and also you're going to notice back here there's that white plate on the roof what is that on this unit, we are optioning Starlink. So standard on this unit is gonna be a WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi range extender, and then also 4G LTE hotspot. But let's say I'm gonna be utilizing this in more of a, uh, in more of an area where cell reception isn't the greatest, I can option Starlink, and with that, it will delete the WineGuard 2.0, but you will have the Starlink on there. Starlink's absolutely incredible. The bandwidth of it is massive, and you'll be able to have uh, utilize that going down the road because it is an in-motion one or when you're set up at your campsite. Coming around to the other side of the coach, um, we do have another side storage access to the rear, and then in this uh, compartment, we do have our outdoor filter, we have our water connection, and then also uh, where we're going to be dumping uh, the gray holding tank. 30 amp coach, um, we are able to um, connect a side solar panel to this, uh, one of those foldable briefcase ones. But just as a side note, this does come standard with 360 watts of solar on the roof, as well as we have a combo generator and the lithium battery system. The lithium battery system is approximately 4,000 watt hours, and then uh, your generator is gonna be plumbed off of your gas tank, um, gasoline chassis tank, I should say. Uh, this says, uh, this is a cassette toilet inside of here. So it is a five gallon cassette toilet, easily accessible through this wall. And then we have two little storage cubbies down below. On the roof, you will see a roof rack that does come standard with this unit. And uh, it is a nice feature because uh, we do, you're going to notice on the rear, there's not a ladder. Uh, we do have a collapsible ladder that does hook to that roof rack. Uh, one to be creative on that. Uh, no reason to put a ladder on the rear if your roof rack is here. That way you can directly load your kayaks um, or even your paddle boards to the side where you're going to be using them and where you're going to be storing them. So I wanted to point that out as well. Let's go inside the coach. Uh, that way you can check out what we're going to be seeing inside. Alrighty, so we're inside the 22T Granite Ridge, and we have some exciting things to show you. First of all, um, something that I think is really cool is the front living area, the dinette table. Both of the front uh, driver passenger seat, they swivel. And so we intentionally did this layout because uh, when you swivel both seats, I'm able to sit one person here, one person there, two people there. This table is absolutely incredible. It's a pedestal table, but it goes in every direction. It also swivels. There's a lever I pull and it swivels around as well. And so a cool thing about this is four people can be sitting here and four people can have a table to use. So we set it up at our dealer homecoming a couple weeks ago and we had the seat swiveled around. Four people can comfortably sit here. Everybody can have a small plate. Everybody can have a drink here. And, uh, and it's awesome. A lot of living space here. There's a seat belt in, in this seating position. 
a seat belt in my seating position as well. And you'll also notice we have a child safety tether in this location. So as I mentioned on the inside, we do have integrated uh, nightshade lifted up. And then we have our day shade or our bug screen. And so a lot of light will come in, but it'll keep your UV rays out and keep it cooler on the inside here. You're gonna notice in the front overhead, uh, that this does have a television in it. This is optioned. Great thing about this television is if you do option it, we have a mounting bracket back in the bedroom as well that I could take this TV off and I could put it back in my bedroom <clears throat> if I'd rather have it back there or here. It's very versatile. Now, as I mentioned outside, this is our prototype. So this overhead storage area will change a little bit. We're gonna have um, some retainers to be able to keep whatever's inside inside. Um, so that will be changing forthcoming, but want to point that out to you as well. Um, and then as we come back into the main area, uh, we do have a convection microwave oven. This does have an induction cooktop. We, in, we chose to do an, a, a portable induction cooktop because you're not cooking 24 hours a day, but what you are doing 24 hours a day is you need countertop space. And so we've given you countertop space. Um, you're able to tuck away your cooktop when you're not using it. When you do want it, just get it out and utilize it at that point. You will notice that this does have an aqua hot system in it, as I, I believe I mentioned on the outside, not quite sure, uh, but this is the aqua, aqua hot system. It does run off of gasoline, so off your generate, off of your chassis, I should say, not your generator. And then also, this functions as your furnace, but then also how you heat your hot water. So this is a hydronic heating system, so it's great in that, that sense. We do have the Firefly uh, whole house control system on this. So I can go through, I can go through my electrical, I can go through my lights, uh, my thermostat. Uh, this is where I'm gonna be doing my awnings if I choose. And then also, um, great thing about this Firefly system is I can get an app downloaded on my phone, pair it with this unit, and so when I'm at the campsite, I can be sitting outside around the fire and then um, control everything inside of this, this uh, unit. So our bathroom is a, a, a wet bath. What I love about this wet bath is that there is a lot of room on the inside. Um, we do have the shower miser inside of this unit so that you're not wasting your, your uh, fresh water. It will recirculate your water until it gets to temperature. And at that point, uh, you can open a valve and be able to utilize your shower. We do have a window in this. It is at head height to provide ventilation on the inside. We have a exhaust fan in the, the ceiling of the bathroom as well. So a lot of room. The toilet's pretty cool. It does swivel around. You can have it in any direction you'd like. Um, that way you're going to be totally comfortable as you're using the facilities, whether it's showering or um, using the toilet. So um, this door also does close off the bedroom, as you noticed. That way you can have some privacy back there. Um, and then also um, it, we do have a Nautilus uh, shower sliding system in here uh, for your, your door. So overhead, you're also going to find um, a uh, retractable clothesline essentially. So be able to hang your towels and wet clothes on the inside. Uh, coming back, you're going to know, notice that we do have a lot of storage space inside of this coach. Um, we've got shelving on this side. We've got a 120 volt outlet on the side of this uh, countertop area. You can set your coffee pot there. You can set a water filtration system there if you'd like and able to totally utilize this space. Overhead cabinets, you're going to notice we're not lacking space. Uh, we intentionally gave you a pass through uh, going uh, north to south on the coach. That way you can put larger items up in there if you'd like. And then also a nice overhead uh, storage cabinet on this side as well. Coming back into the bedroom, um, you're going to notice that we do have a lot of space back here. What we intentionally did is um, this is the main area of sleeping, obviously. Study show, eight hours of sleep a night, that's what I'm told. So we want to make this as comfortable as possible. We brought in different foam densities, um, different types of beds, and we intentionally went with this route. It's a nice thick um, mattress, but at the same time, it's soft enough that hopefully we've kind of found the sweet spot for a lot of our sleepers, but put a lot of thought into this. We do have storage on both sides underneath, uh, two sets of drawers, and then we also have a wardrobe on both sides. Um, this can function as twin size beds, or I can put this uh, divider, or not divider, this cushion in the center, and it'll be a larger bed. You could call it a king if you'd like. Um, it's kind of an odd shaped king. Call it king if you'd like, your choice. Uh, overhead storage back here. Um, we do have three nice overhead cabinets. We have a shelf down here. Uh, you can plug cell phones in. We have 120 volt outlets on both sides, as well as USB outlets. Um, that you're able to plug in your phone or your tablet and just set it up there for the night. 
Uh, we have a nice window in the back here. Um, let That way as you're able to look at the lake out there or even for ventilation purposes. So uh, super excited about this. As I mentioned back here is, is our uh, TV mounting bracket that if you do option the TV, you can move it back to here. So um, this is the 22T Granite Ridge and brand new for us. We just released it a couple weeks ago at our dealer homecoming at the beginning of August. And we are excited to see this get out onto the lots. Our dealers were excited, we're excited. And I think you're gonna love it when you see it. Contact your local dealer, uh, go to jaco.com. We have a dealer finder, put in your location, uh, contact your dealer, ask when you can come see this unit at their lot. Again, Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development, and thanks for watching.